some fun with this ostrich. He was quite an aggressive character and to get my own back I'm going to turn him into a pink and purple bottomed ostrich. I'm going to start off using some permanent rose and a wash brush. First of all where the light's hitting him on top just a very very watered down pearl permanent rose going in and then adding more pigment as we come down and it gets darker. And see how bright that is? And this side's slightly lighter so I'll just pull out some of the colour again. And it looks a little bit strange at this stage but it does come together. That's quite light just there and then it gets darker so again a lot more pigment. Let that bleed in and then quite dark around this side. Already I feel I'm getting my own back on him. Now the other colour I'm going to use is Intense Violet. And that's for the shadow on the white of his tail. I'm just looking for the shapes it's making. Some of it I can leave white. This side's a little bit darker, so just much, much more pigment. That's all the feathers in, a little bit here. It doesn't matter if it runs, that just all adds to it. And now his neck, there's a little bit of white running down here, we'll keep that light. Just look for the shapes that the shadow is making. And the legs in the same way, it's a rough paper. So if you can pick up on the bumps, that just creates a bit more movement. It's got lovely interesting legs, they're a lovely shape. A bit more intense violet, quite thick. Well, that's your base colours. What I'm going to do now is to dry that off completely. It's got to be absolutely bone dry before I put a background wash on. So we'll let that dry. Right, now that's absolutely dry, I'm going to put on the background. Use the biggest brush you've got. I'm using a whopper brush and I'm going to make a mix of Prussian blue and lemon yellow. And before I put that on, I'm just going to wet the whole of the background so that it goes on without getting cauliflowers and blurs. It just gives you time to get the background wash on. So just wet the whole of that. Keeping the white white on his neck. The reason we've got it very dry is that we're taking that right up to the ostrich. I'm just using it like I would use paint. I'm taking the point of the brush right up to the edges of him and just wetting the paper completely. Now that's completely wet, take your mix of Prussian Blue and Lemon Yellow. 
just wash over all of that. Because the paper's wet underneath, it will dry quite a lot lighter than you're putting it on. It does help having a large brush with a point. If you used a flat brush, you wouldn't be able to get so close up to the smaller parts like the legs, but the large whopper brush holds lots and lots of water. And so you can get the paint on without fiddling too much. Right now that's got to be dried absolutely completely now before we do any more. Now your base coat's dry, I'm going to put on the shadow using the same Prussian blue and a little bit of lemon yellow. Mix very, very thick with hardly any water. I'm just going to put a diagonal shadow across the bottom. And now I've got to let that dry completely. 